So talk to us about the strategy. You're investing in deep tech. You're investing in medicine. Yes, uh, our global strategy is deep tech because it's easier to understand IP protection. What do you mean by deep tech? Anything that has um, something that you can file a patent for, for example. Uh, it's not just a social network, uh, it's not just first removal advantage. Uh, but in China, you don't just have Web 4.0, you have Web 4.0 and Web 3.0, because you know, they have a catch up, right? And in Southeast Asia and India, you have 4.0, 3.0 and 2.0. So the investments there, you know, you can still have e-commerce, you can still have social networks, you can even have search engines, uh, e-payment. So it's the whole broad spectrum. But in the U.S., we're cutting edge. So I'm curious about your interest in medicines, given the failure rate for new medicines going through clinical trials. What do you think about that? We don't like a single drug discovery mm -hmm. uh, because that has very high risk and it's totally binary. Mm. Um, we love the regenerative medicine space or restorative medicine space, uh, mainly because you know, nobody prays for an iPad. They pray to save their lives. Right? Mm. So people are much more willing to pay to save their life than for an iPhone. What do you make of SoftBank coming into the tech industry with $100 billion to it's invest? How does that change the landscape? It's a game changer. Um, Doesn't that make it harder for firms like you? Not really, mm -hmm. easier. Uh, How so? Yeah, because they come in very late. Mm. Uh, I mean, they're a multi-billion dollar fund. They buy at very high prices, uh, generally, uh, because they're very committed and they put a lot of money to work. Um, so when we invest early, uh, we have, once they come in, it's an exit for us. So how does it change the landscape? Actually, the whole world has changed, uh -huh. uh, mainly because people who are looking for returns in the past could invest in fixed income and equities and then private equity. But now there are no returns from fixed income, so they have no choice. They pump all their money into equity and private equity, and as a result, you get the likes of Uber, etc. They are like $200 billion unicorns today, mm -hmm. 100 of them from China and 100 from the US. This has never happened before.